yeah, that, that, that was weird. Uh, we're through to another final, which is, of course, wonderful news. But that was um, stressful. I'm still shaking a little bit. The nerves, the anxiety from that game of football. Uh, weird, weird. A mixture of what did I just watch? Uh, anxiety, nerves, and a mild sense of elation underneath this uh, uh, frayed exterior. Uh, what a strange game of football. City have just beat United. Well, they haven't beat United. They lost to United 1-0 against 10 men uh, to go through 3-2 in aggregate into the Carabao Cup final against Aston Villa. So we probably could maybe win this competition again if we turn up, of course, against Aston Villa. We won't win it if we play like we did today. That's one thing for certain. But... We're back at another final at Wembley, which is nice. Um, and I guess we could forget this game if we go on to win it. People won't really remember it. But that summed up this season quite a lot, really, didn't it? Uh, a very strange game of football, that. A very weird game of football. Um, and at times, I wasn't sure if what we were trying was working or uh, if it wasn't working. I know that sounds really weird, but there were spells in the game where we totally, utterly dominated Manchester United. Um Created chances, uh, and the only thing let us down really was just our, our, our inability to score uh, and be totally and utterly wasteful in front of goal. Um, I'll start at the front, I guess, uh, of the game. We started with a very strange formation. Um, like a, a free at the back, it was like a WM kind of formation with Cancelo um, on the left and Otamendi and Walker, and then like with they, those three were there, you had like um, kind of Rodri and Gundogan in front of them. And then Mares and Sterling were meant to keep wide with De Bruyne and Silva, kind of uh, Bernardo Silva that is behind Aguero, and it was a really strange kind of like WM formation. Um, and it kind of sh- it did work a little bit initially. It was interesting also seeing uh, De Bruyne captain by the way over Aguero. That was very very telling, I thought. Uh, but yeah, we kind of did work. It did. Right, we started off quite well. Uh, we had a, a whole bunch of saves. I remember a good save from David De Gea. I don't know how he didn't score in this game from an Aguero header. And then Amara's shot deflected. Another good save. And then Cancelo tried to place one. And then uh, there's another good save from De Gea from a, another Aguero shot. Um, and we were controlling the ball really nicely. We were moving it around. We were also a little bit hesitant every now and then about how to work the ball forward. And we could see Guardiola kind of uh, <laughs> frantically motioning to his players about what to do. And he wasn't happy with the pace of the build-up play. But it was a different shape. Uh, and we were doing okay at this point of all. We were a little kind of loose up front, which is a story of the game in the end. But in general, we were creating chances. We were kind of controlling the game. United didn't really know how to... Uh, get through to us. We should have scored um, before that. Uh, in my humble opinion, a lovely outside of the boot pass to Sterling from Kevin De Bruyne. And Sterling kind of got away from Maguire, but then kind of went to take it on his right. And as a result, Maguire caught up to him. He should have just hit it with his left, in my humble opinion, at least got a shot away. But he didn't even manage to do that, which of course led to the inevitable. United to score with literally their first shot on goal. It's a wonderful goal, to be fair. i got to give Matic credit for that. Uh, strange gave for him in the end, I guess, after his red card as well. Uh, but it was a great goal. Uh, a volley. Uh, you know, I'm always quite critical of Bravo, but he had no chance with that one. Absolutely no chance. In off the post. Very frustrating. Genuinely very frustrating. Um, and it was always... It felt inevitable, weirdly. It felt very much like the kind of thing we've seen a billion times this season. Uh, that is the story of Manchester City's season so far. Um, a failure to convert chances and then uh, the other team scoring with more or less their first shot on target. In this case, the very first shot on goal. Full stop. Um, we did get a goal in the first half, though it was ruled offside. Uh, Sterling thought he broke his duck against Manchester United with a lovely Kevin De Bruyne across, but he was about a yard offside. And it was the right call. Didn't need VAR for that one, um, but it was the right call. Uh, I still don't know how we didn't go in with a goal in that uh, at the end of that first half. Likewise, um, at the end of the game, I guess. Second half, we stuck to the style. Uh, we did have a really ropey initial kind of 10 minutes of the half. Uh, Maguire should have leveled the tie uh, on, on over an aggregate with a header after Cancelo gave a really silly free kicker away against Dan James, who'd just come on and used his pace as a game behind. And then we had a really, really, really bizarre moment. Uh, another wonderful De Bruyne pass. Sterling totally and utterly free on goal. Absolutely no one near him. And it's almost like Sterling's reverted back to the guy. And I'll get on to him in a bit in a bit more de- detail. Uh, to who he was four years ago. And um, it was strange. Like, he should have shot one-on-one. Totally fine. Loads of space to shoot. And he decided to run back into four people. Try and round De Gea. And then walloped it over the goal. It was 
utterly, utterly baffling decision making. Uh, and Sterling at his very worst. Like it was is the worst side of Sterling times a billion. Genuinely a billion. Um, after that, we did start to control the ball quite a bit, and we had all the ball at this point. David Silva came on for Mahrez, not Sterling, which is weird, but the idea of David Silva coming on, I thought personally, was a good one. Um, the idea was him to control the game and see it out, because we were technically winning at this point. We're still, well, I guess we did stay winning, but you know what I mean. Uh, and he, he did kind of start to knit things together a little bit. Uh, we had um, a few little nice moments. Aguero hit the side netting. Uh and then this really, really weird moment happened from David Silva. I, 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 like, he, he, he shot from there. He actually genuinely shot from there. Uh, no, no idea. Uh, that is like This City game was weird in that instance. And after that, um, we had another goal disallowed. Aguero with a wonderful finish uh, but from a good Cancelo pass, but that was ruled out. And also, Mendy nearly kind of gave a, a goal-scoring chance away with a stupid free kick. KDB was furious. Look, he wanted to kill him. And then we started to... Oh, by the way, during all this, I forgot, um, uh, Matic got sent off with 15 minutes left. Uh, it was a yellow, yellow card and the second yellow. And City really started to hang on against United with 10 men. Now, what was that about? Genuinely, what was that about? Uh, we started to make loads of weird substitutions. Stones coming on for De Bruyne. Gabriel Jesus for Aguero to run down time. What if it had gone to penalties? And eventually, we did hold on anyway. But it was a weird performance a very strange game of football a very frustrating one to watch even being honest because um we should have won that comfortably we should have won that comfortably i thought united weren't even close to good at all on the night yet somehow they beat us like how does that even happen it was a bizarre set of circumstances tonight and a performance i'm generally quite frustrated by and quite annoyed by yes in the grand scheme of things that was essentially a bad half in a bigger game where we were the better team of course we were for all but um it's not good to be that um, wasteful. It just isn't that good to be that wasteful. And I mean, weirdly, I thought the formation kind of worked for the vast majority. United barely created anything. We created loads. But it was moments of a lack of quality that really let us down. And Sterling in particular, Aguero, sometimes a little bit wasteful going forward. Um, City decision making in the final third was genuinely pretty poor, I thought. And it just simply has to be better than that because the formation largely did its job. Um... Not every player was totally at home in it, but it did its job. It conceded minimal chances, and it did concede minimal chances, like next to no chances. Uh, I think Bravo didn't really have a save to make throughout the whole game, and that wasn't because of a uh, that wasn't because like a poor finish. It was because United had no chances, um, and we created loads of chances at the other end, and we just wasted them. So it's one of those things where you're like, well, we did what we were meant to do on the pitch, other than the bit that's actually the most important bit. Very frustrating performance, and. We are in a situation now where we're starting to see um, the problems. They're so, so consistent. Uh, as I've said in other videos, like, it's hard to moan too much about problems that we know are problems because I think they will get solved in the summer and they're not going to change. But you do worry when you see um, Madrid on the horizon, for example. If we are this wasteful and this kind of faffy, this kind of st just stupid, then we will get punished because they are a vastly better team than Manchester United. And... Um, they will score goals against us. Uh, the young Brazilians they've got forward, so, um, they will score goals against us. Uh, their senior players will pick off our mistakes and they will um, they won't be so generous in front of goal either. It's a weird game, that. A very weird game uh, because we simply have to be better. But we are through to a final. Uh, so, I don't know. Did we show good determination in the end? I don't know. I'll go through the players individually. Bravo, um, fine with his passing. Nothing to do with anything. So, I can't really... <laughs> he was fine. He was totally fine. Walker, um, it's a weird role for Walker. There was a few times where you could tell he wasn't used to the lack of options in front of him because the players weren't shifting over as much as he should be or Mares wasn't pulling quite as deep as he maybe should have been. But I thought Walker was okay, you know. Otamendi, apart from that, like, absolute insane brain fart at the end, I thought he was pretty good defensively as well. Like, I can't pretend that we struggled defensively, really. We didn't, apart from a few self-inflicted problems. Cancelo, um... <laughs> Of course, he looked a bit uncomfortable as a left-sided centre-back. Like, of course he did defensively. What do we expect from a player who clearly isn't a left-sided centre-back? Uh, what, what were we expecting? Obviously, though, when he went forward, and he did get forward a few times, there was a few occasions where he burst forward and he drove through the United defence, where he looked really good going forward, which shows how wasted he was as a skill set. He's not a left-sided centre-back. It was a weird decision. 
And it made no sense. I would have much rather played Garcia uh, in that back four tonight, or back whatever it was, back two, back three, whatever it was, uh, and have defenders who are comfortable at least doing what they're meant to do. I know Cantelo was meant to play a little bit wide, but he didn't get that wide, really. He didn't really get very wide and played a lot as a defender. There was one nice moment where he could have had an assist for Aguero, a lovely one too with De Bruyne, and then he slotted it through to Aguero, but obviously he was just offside. But that showed what Cancelo's game is. It's not what it was tonight, so he was never going to be totally comfortable. He did an okay job in the circumstances, a little bit naive defensively a couple of times, but he's probably not used to that role. And I do not blame him because he clearly isn't. Uh, Sterling, um, wow, uh, I don't know what's happened. I've got to the point now, if I see Sterling on the pitch, uh, I'm genuinely worried or disappointed. I love Raheem Sterling, um, but his form has taken such a painful dive that if this was an academy lad and he played all these games, people would say he's absolutely diabolical and be playing in League 2 in a few years. That's how bad Sterling's been recently. The decision-making, the general touch, the overall contribution to the team is just so, so poor that it's actually frightening. And I'm starting to worry uh, about his form in general. For like, Is he going to be fi- Is he gonna find a way to be useful for the rest of the season? Like, What is the cause? Like, We got to the point now where he's kind of running over the ball or miscontrolling controlling the ball or he's not even shooting anymore or he's just kind of running into blind alleys he's become half the player that he was and he's fantastic of course he's fantastic we know he can be but this regression is kind of worrying we got to the point where Leroy Sane as soon as he can walk on that pitch and be vaguely fit he's going to walk back into this starting lineup because we are so so wasteful so painfully wasteful that it's nowhere near acceptable and Sterling pretty much epitomizes that at the moment I love the guy genuinely but we've got to call a spade a spade, and so far, well, at least recently anyway, he's been really poor. Like, that form from the start of the season has disappeared so painfully. Absolutely, you know, it's just bad. Just genuinely bad. And Mahrez, in and out of the game. Maybe unlucky to be substituted, but in and out of the game. De Bruyne could have had two assists tonight, as ever. Uh, I mean, I don't think he was great by any stretch of the imagination, but he did create his chances. He did do his role. He did work tirelessly. Likewise, Bernardo Silva thought he worked pretty tirelessly. I thought Gundogan and uh, Rodri were actually okay, apart from towards the end where the whole team totally and utterly lost their bottle and their ability to keep the ball, which is just simply not good enough, given the circumstances. Um... I thought they were okay, just, you know, solid, fine, uh, both did as much as they could. And it's worth mentioning once again that defensively we were actually pretty solid. It's just our own wastefulness once again that really frustrated us. We have to keep coming back to that because I don't think defensively we were bad in it by any stretch. I think we mainly controlled the ball for like 75% of the game, but we just have to control it for 85% of the game. And also we have to score our chances. And that goes on Sterling mainly. Aguero missed a couple of good chances as well. Aguero was also guilty every now and then of holding on the ball far too long in my opinion. Um... It was a performance where no one really absolutely shone. No one was terrible. Maybe Sterling pushed that. Um, But it was a weird, weird performance. But as I said, we are now through to the final. Uh, A few side thoughts uh, away from this game. Uh, Once again, Garcia, I think he should have been on. I think he should have been on the pitch. I think he would have been much more comfortable. And also a little side thought about Phil Foden. If he can't get on in a game like this, or he can't even start a game like this when we're 3-1 up, uh, and we're also risking these weird formations. If Guardiola has that little respect for United that he'll play these crazy formations, and risk them for the first time but Foden still can't get on the pitch well it's not good for him it's not good and my Foden patience has um, fallen I felt Foden should have been actually 25 minutes from the end because Foden is actually a finisher and if he'd got some chances he would have been alright overall Guardiola should be very frustrated and I hope largely he's bollocking them I know you'll say oh United are a very good team and all that kind of stuff but 10 men United I'm sorry we should have scored there we should have capitalised but it was our own wastefulness, our own lack of quality. That's the worry there. Um, we did some bits of the game very well, but we have to be better. Anyway, after all that negativity, we are through to a final, which is lovely to see. Another final, and I can't wait to go, and I can't wait to sit there and cheer City on. But I can't pretend that was a good performance tonight. I can't sit there and lie. Um, it was tense, it was nervous, it was great when full-time went, but that was horrible watching that. Generally horrible, uh, and we have lots to improve on, and I hope we use this chance to focus, because City simply have to be better than this. We have to be um, more focused, because our standards, um, we haven't got the excuse. I know Mendy and Laporte would have played tonight if they were fit and available, and that maybe would have helped the shape or something, but... No, some of this stuff last night wasn't good enough, and Guardiola needs to be on the plays to improve this. Anyway, guys, we are through to a final, as I said. A bit of a rant there, but I think everything I've said is genuinely fair. We obviously are still an excellent team. There are obviously still very big problems, though, in this side at the moment that we're going to have to fix, and we're going to have to find a way to fix them. I suspect it's going to be a very weird summer at the moment. Um, guys, let me know what you thought of that game. <laughs> it was a weird one, wasn't it? Like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. Going to Wembley.
Do you know what? I thought I was done, but I've just seen this quote from Kevin De Bruyne. Uh, he said, I can't comprehend how we lost. United didn't have one chance today. We were way too wasteful. I think they had one chance. He said, we were way too wasteful at the other end. I think we got sloppy. We don't clear lines and out of nothing they scored. Tell me if United had another chance. Do you know what, Kevin? You're absolutely fucking bang on. And that is the exact uh, words you used to say. We were poor, very poor tonight. Um, and maybe utterly we complicated it. Um... I honestly admire De Bruyne's uh, very honest words there. We have to be better than that. And that's the final thought there because I think I've been too kind, actually. That was very, very, very bad.